Are you kidding me? We should have got Clint Kubiak. What? What is this? Boo. This guy sucks. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. When I wear the hat and when I start talking like that with Bobby voice or whatever it may be, uh, my hair always gets messed up. Can we please, can we please, Steelers Nation, everyone out there, I don't care if you like this, if you like it, dislike it, have your opinion, have your comment. Can we please let the guy, see that door over there? Can we please let the guy walk through the door? Can we do that, right? We've seen the news, Arthur Smith, OC. Um, I'm the last to find out, as usual. Wake up and I see. Thank you to the comments, too. I had Thomas and uh, Ryan Leaf in the comments saying, thanks, man, here's the news. So I appreciate when you guys break the news. However, can we please let the guy walk through the door all I hear is negativity about he was it was a bad coach of the Falcons. It happens. It's life. But go back to being the Titans coach when he was a good OC. And he does have experience. And you see this now that uh, Jerry Dulak and, and a lot of guys out there are reporting that Smith has not, not signed a contract yet, but he but might sign a three-year deal. So Steelers are going to hire a former Atlanta Falcons head coach, Arthur Smith, to the OC position. Her team sources and Everyone out there is reporting it from the NFL to, you know, Tom. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name, but Tom in the, in the Twitterverse and the, the NFL guys. It's happening or going to happen, uh, which is, you know, not official, but it looks like it's going to happen. Then you jump on Twitter, you jump on Facebook, you jump on everything like that. Next minute, you're like, oh, that's where you should not hide. This, uh, shit, uh, 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 Mike Tomlin, uh, uh, shit, uh. It's like, can you just not have the news be broken and try and get behind the fella? Right, and when he does uh, officially sign, get behind Smith and see what happens. Really boggles my mind. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Real quick video. I might do a live later on today, uh, talking about this. But my my instant reaction to this hire is let him walk through the door. That door. Let him walk through the door. Let him get into the office. Let him meet the staff. Let Arthur. Meet Mike Tomlin, Kenny Pickett, the O-line. Let him go meet the running backs. Let him meet the actual room before we start to pass judgment. He hasn't even signed a contract yet. And a lot of still a nation, I'm saying like probably half on Twitter, Facebook, or social media. And that's where we get all our news from. And that's the perception. is like, oh, that's the wrong hire. They should have waited. They should have done this. Still a should have. Still a should have. All I hear is still a should have. Give the guy a chance. He has not even walked through the door yet. Not even walked through the door. Not at all. All righty. Maybe it's not your guy. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's not your guy. Who cares? They're going to hire him. It looks like it's going to be a three-year contract. Let's see what happens. Let's get behind the fella and hopefully can turn this into one of the best passing attacks and also one of the best running attacks and go through Najee Harris and Warren and get some better O-line as well and build into play action. And if Kenny Pickett's a guy, he's going to go awesome. If Rudolph's a guy, he's going to go awesome. Or we can hope for that. Now, you can pass judgment, but like initially, what's the point? There's zero point to pass judgment when the guy has not even walked through that door or the door or the Pittsburgh Steelers facility. Hasn't even walked in yet. And we're already jumping on him like, ah, oh, he's crap, he's terrible, he's awful. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you later. Go Steelers.